start with an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll open up for questions. Um, yeah, obviously uh, disappointed. You know, we had we had a, a shot tonight to knock off the top team in the conference, and I think I think we showed. Um, why we're a team, a possession team, you know, and that's what it came down today. We had some possessions and a few that we didn't take care of, but uh, just to keep them to 60 points, you know, way under their average to do some things we need to do defensively, I was really happy with. But the possessions in the end, um, you know, a couple costly turnovers that put us in position, um, you know, and it, we, you know, I can even say at the end we got a shot. So we got a shot at the end. So we're doing things that I think um, teams in March, you know, for us, we're doing a much better job. So I do think this is a team that people should be afraid to see again. I think Drexel, I think the next time we see a team um, like Stony Brook, I think they should be a little scared that they're going to see us because I thought we did a great job doing so many things, um, but not, you know, in the end, obviously, not getting that final possession of those possessions we needed. But really proud with the effort of this group today. Yeah, so first half and even the first you know, 25 minutes, um, you guys did a really nice job defensively, like you said, got the offense going. Um, but talk about the offense, you guys were able to get out in transition and, and find some you know, back doors in, in, uh, in the half-court offense. So talk about offensively and what really worked for you, you know, really in those first 25 minutes of the game. I think our, our transition um, offense, you know, just getting down the floor and, and the sharp cuts to the basket and, and all five just being threats on the floor. I, I love some of the passing and some of the cuts we got, and I think um, that really opened it up for everybody because once you get a couple of those, I think it opens up everybody on the floor. But I was really happy with our ball movement, uh, just taking care of, even when they were pressing us, us taking care at times, especially in the first half, of breaking it to score and having that attack mentality. And I think that really helped us today um, offensively. And defensively, you know, two of the best players in the conference, Gigi Gonzalez and Kari Clark, held them to a combined 10 points when they average a combined 30 points. So, you know, they, they also shot a combined two of 12. So talk about that against those two really good players and, and what that means for your defense going forward. I think they, they were two that we were keen in on. You know, we definitely had a defensive plan as far as limiting the type of looks they were going to get, the easy looks. And uh, yeah, I mentioned earlier, just really proud of our defensive effort. I thought we did so many great things on the floor and just things that we focused on all week. So it was definitely a step forward for us. But um, yeah, I, I think that's one of the things that if we can continue to have that focus moving forward with, with our final games, I think we can put ourselves in a position to be successful. And individually, uh, Amaris Baker played all 40 minutes uh, and you know, 21 points against Monmouth, um, 21 points tonight. Uh, what have you seen from her over the last you know couple of weeks, where she's really started to get things going offensively again? I, I think just you can see her confidence in what we're doing, and I think that the adjustment she's had a couple games, as you said, that where she's scoring and finding ways to score, and I think that's really helped her just be more more confident on the floor with the way she's going to score. And I think um, you know tonight you saw that she was aggressive getting to the basket. I think that's a piece that we definitely need, and um, she's doing it really really well at this point, and, and we need her to. So I'm excited to see that. It's obviously a tough loss, but quick turnaround on Sunday against a good team in Campbell, which they're right next to you in the mm -hmm. standings, and it's the only time you play them this year. So you know, how do you get the team ready, you know, bounce back from a tough loss like this where a lot of good things happen, especially early, but how do you get them ready for that game on Sunday? I mean, I think it's about pride. You know, you're on your home court. It's your, your final game at home. Obviously, our seniors, you know, we have some seniors we're going to honor, but I think it's all about just proving that you're better than you were uh, tonight and that you've been, and I think stepping in. If we have the same focus we did going into um, tonight's game, I think we'll, we'll put ourselves in position again. I think that's always the hardest part. I think this team, it's one thing um, every day they show up, they work really hard at practice, they, they focus on what we need to do, and, and defensively, I think you're seeing it. I mean, it's one of the reasons we're one of the top teams in the conference scoring defense, so really proud of that because I think that just takes a lot of um, heart, effort, and commitment to it, and I think you know, if we can, you know, like anything, if we can hit some shots uh, on Sunday, I think we can put ourselves in position to beat Campbell. If you could turn back the clock, what would one thing you would change about today's play calling? Um, I, I think a couple things for us. I think we have, you know, our, some of our execution from when we call timeouts and some of our execution coming out of the timeouts. Um, I think I would maybe change either the set or something we were in, but I, I do think most of the calls are kind of right where I where I would coach the game, keep it the same, you know, where the timeouts were, what we were doing. Um, you know, I think even at the end when we went to Amaris, she's she's the person that had been scoring for us through the game, so we put the ball in her hands. And that's usually what we do when we're looking to give it to somebody. Um, and she even got the last shot off, so I think there's not much I would change. Maybe a couple times um, when I thought we were going to turn the ball over the one time, one to call timeout, but again, it, it, it could have resulted in the same thing, so you don't know at that point.
All right, my last question is, um, going off of that pride point, how do you want to go into the locker room after this and transmute some of that negative energy into that positivity for Sunday? I think it's, um, you know, what I, what I told the team is, you know, it, one thing about Drexel basketball, and I've obviously been part of it for so long, and I'm very proud of, we, we make it possession games. And so we, we were right where we wanted to be tonight with a top team in the league. Um, you know, we were in possessions, and usually we're really good at executing out of possessions and doing those things, and that's something that we have to do better. Like, if we want to beat teams and beat the best teams, you have to do that at a high level. So I think that's definitely something that we can flip. But I think the positive... Um, the negative about this is obviously losing the game, but the positive, we really executed everything we need to do defensively much better than we did the first time we played them. And that was totally evident, I think, from the beginning of the game. So that piece, like I said, I think any team right now, seeing the type of defense we're playing, um, should be a little concerned if they face us because I think we, we really bring that piece um, and we bring it well. So I'm hoping, again, that's something we use um, in that energy on Sunday versus Campbell. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.